guys, welcome back to week two of another week of the Super Beard Bowl, the show where the top vote getters move on and the bottom vote getters die. Today, if you're doing things right, you just watched the return of NAC 2, and now for a change of pace, me and Brett went to a couple fast food restaurants and recorded our thoughts on some delicious or not so delicious fast food sandwiches, including the all popular Popeyes chicken sandwich. Look at it! But before you do, just know that if you want to be part of the bowl, you can go to patreon.com slash superbeardbros where you too can vote on this week's episode of Super Beard Bowl and you can watch all four of the current episodes that are available for voting right now, no matter what year it is. Guys, what's up? Welcome to a weird episode of Super Beard Bowl. We're in my car because today we are going to be reviewing two of the hottest fast food menu items that have been going around this winter season. That's the McRib from McDonald's and the Ever Elusive. Ever. The super popular. Overhyped, really. Probably. Probably. We'll, we'll see. see. The Popeye's, Popeye's chicken, chicken yeah. sandwich. Well, it's me and Alex in the car. It's yeah. welcome to Super Big Boys. This is as real as it's ever going to get. Oh, uh, Wallace is here. Yeah, Wallace is in the back. I don't know if you can see him. Hey, step up, come here. Cool. Right. He's like, are you kidding Fuck. me? So we're going to drive to McDonald's, then we're going to drive to Popeye's, and uh, we're going to give you our play-by-play -play as we go. Okay. So we had to call an audible. Yeah. We went to get the McRib, and of course, it's no longer available. It doesn't exist. So we had to call an audible. Yeah, we were looking deep at the menu. We were trying to decide, like, what's something that we never get. I was looking at the filet fish but I feel like a lot of people do have it, especially on Friday. All y'all motherfuckers out there have had the filet fish before. Like, we didn't want to get a Big Mac or a cheeseburger. Everybody's had that. Like, this is, you know, we're trying to do the stuff that, like, not a lot of people have done. Right. We might not know about and let right. you know what we think. So we landed on something called the... Quarter Pounder Deluxe. So apparently the cool, I didn't, you know, I didn't know this. The Quarter Pounder, which a lot of you know. Yeah. Which is like a big boy version of their baby burger. That's the way it's always been. Now they're doing different versions of that. And we got two of them. And so there's like one with bacon. And I'm like, I can imagine a Quarter Pounder with bacon. What I can't imagine, oh, look at this. What I can't imagine is a Quarter Pounder Deluxe. Yeah, the Quarter Pounder Deluxe seems to be just a Quarter Pounder. But oh my it, god. But it has like, it's like the big and tasty basically. Look at this leafy looking ass lettuce on yeah. this quarter pounder it's like burger. The, it's like the redux of the uh, of the uh, big and tasty they used to have on the menu. A little bit. Except it costs twice as much as a big and tasty. This costs us each six dollars and change. Yeah. Six, six dollars. So let's look at what we got. The lady had to preempt like giving me my total by like Warning me that this is a very expensive sandwich. She was like, it's a very, ex it's expensive. Not like she didn't believe that we could pay for it. No, just like, I can't believe that I did pay for it. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah. So look, you got your sesame seed, but look at what's on the inside. Ketchup, onions. It's like the construction of their, of their regular baby burger. With the, like, the, the really sad smattering of, of ketchup and mustard. Well, they don't do the diced. You get real. Right, you get yeah. like onions instead of the chopped onions. And it looks very gross because there's also mayo yeah. on here. And then you've got lettuce and pickles, and boy, that lettuce. You got yeah. fucking tomatoes and cheese! Tomatoes! Yeah, so that's what makes it deluxe, but we were just talking earlier about how we want, like, fresh food on our fast food stuff. You know, ideally. Yeah, so let's try this. Let's see how we, let's see how we feel. I, this is a quarter pounder now, but there's so much shit that's usually not here. I'm gonna take another bite, and then I'm gonna tell you, because I didn't get enough tomato. First of all, understand this. What I'm realizing now is that I'm usually not getting lettuce at McDonald's. Ever. No, maybe the Big Mac. Well, that's like the shredded lettuce. Exactly, very different. Yeah. Do they do lettuce on the chicken sandwich? No, hell no. Isn't really? there lettuce on that? No. It's not just chicken and bread and mayo, is it? The McChicken? Oh is yeah. It? Oh, okay. It costs like a dollar. This lettuce is so foreign. Yeah, I want to say this. It does. It doesn't taste as bad as I as I thought it was gonna taste. It just tastes like a pretty good burger at first glance, but like it's only around the edges that like that mayo doesn't taste like real mayo. That pickle is like really tired. The lettuce doesn't even taste bad. There's not enough of it. And I mean, lettuce doesn't taste like shit. Yeah. Ever. 
I mean, it's, it's the the texture of the lettuce is not great, but it's not like crappy like Jack in the Box level lettuce. Like it's kind of all right. It's just like I don't know. It, it's a little bit sad, but it's not bad. For six dollars, would I buy a double double over this every single time? Yeah, but. I don't know, it's okay. And I don't feel like totally gross. Look at this, this burger. Guys, this burger looks sad. It's not like, it's not a great burger. Like you got, it doesn't look that appetizing. You don't want to really, really bite it. We know what this is, right? Mm -hmm. For many years now, McDonald's has been trying different iterations on like the burger with all the fixings, right? right? They had the Arch Deluxe in the past. They had the Big and Tasty at one point, And this is what we have now. This tastes basically exactly the same as the Big and Tasty. This is a little bit different than the Big and Tasty. And I don't remember why. I can't tell, I don't remember the being tasty. Yeah, it, which, to, 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 along that point, I don't think I'll remember this, like, beyond today either. Well, so here's the thing, sometimes, look, you're all with me, right? Sometimes you're in the mood for a burger that has, like, a lot of crunch and texture to it with, like, the vegetables and shit. Yeah. I love that stuff. But here's the thing, if I want that type of burger, I don't think I'm coming to McDonald's. I never have before, and this isn't gonna change but that. But it's not like it's cheaper. It's, like, the same price as, yeah. like, a good burger from another place. That's the thing. I would definitely prefer this type of, like, I would I would prefer a Whopper to this. Mm -hmm. I would prefer a Jumbo Jack to this, I think. Mm -hmm. Famous Star destroys this. I think it's the lettuce, dude. I I think it's the mayonnaise, and, and, I, and the bread is so bad. And I like lettuce. Me too. I like lettuce! I put lettuce on my burger. Like, I, it's part of it, but this is just sad. It's like a little wet. I, fresher than I expected, but like still not good for six dollars but definitely like amongst the other sandwiches at mcdonald's it like definitely tastes a little bit more fresh peep this i think the construction is off too tucking like, the tomatoes underneath everything including like the the meat that tomato is going to get grody real fast that's wrong this is a fine bur like this is is this burger tasty yup is it worth the money no nah. no and it's not even that tasty like i would rather it's, just have a tasty i would rather have a regular quarter pounder with cheese than the quarter pounder deluxe that might just be my that just might be my personal thing because I I like hate mayonnaise. Especially, oh, period. Like no, just like. Napkin, well, let me say I hate mayonnaise because so much fast food mayonnaise is like ass terrible, and this is like the worst kind of mayonnaise. Here's the thing, guys. For this price, you'd probably be better off buying three regular McDonald's cheeseburgers. Anything. Real talk. Honestly, any other food that you can buy for this price, I don't see anybody liking this the most. But if you're hard up and you're like, look, I really want a burger like with all the fixings, that type of burger, and I can only go to a McDonald's, and I don't care about my money. Get the Big Mac. <laughs> what I mean, all the fixings, like tomato and shit, you know? Yeah. Then yeah, you, you, could, you could do this. <clears throat> I can't. You know, this is a silver bullet burger. Silver it, bullet. It's a silver bullet in that like, it needs to be the right, the exact right circumstances. Like if the moon is full, <laughs> And Mercury's in retrograde, I can see myself if, getting if this. If they're out of max sauce and you need lettuce or you're gonna die, right? this is the burger and for you. And you have to go to McDonald's because there's a gun near your head. Yeah, that's like the only, like I like this bad low marks on this burger for me. Let's think about it this way. What if this costs $2? I would buy it every time. Think about that. Yeah, I'll buy it every time for $3. Because we're already playing on such a shitty playing field that like, Having this and it being and it being like you know the same price as everything else is like just crazy to me. This is a completely different flavor and texture profile than what this place is known for, like those little baby burgers. Yeah, like why 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 play God? Like why why try and do it all? Like why not just stick to the thing you do? Because one one billion sold, man. I guess I will probably never do that again. All right, let's go to Popeyes. God help us all. All right, this is already bad. Yeah. I, I, oh. The motherfuckers are already lined up for this stupid ass sandwich. Chicken sandwich is what? $3.99? Are you out of your mind? Dude, the fucking deluxe quarter pounder was six dollars. The bacon one is more, and that one doesn't even have veggies on it. Okay, it is now 3.27 in the afternoon. And we are just now entering. This may not look like this is the line. There's another side. Just follow it around. Look. So look, 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 look. This is the street. This is the street, and it's also the line for the worst Popeyes in America. So this goes into the parking lot. That all dude's cool, around. and it goes all the way around, and then and past that side yeah, and there's another is another like entrance where people are also lining up, and they're zippering into the drive-through right here. So we'll see you guys in 40 minutes. It is currently 4:20. It's almost an exact hour. It was rough. 
We were in that line for about 45 to 50 minutes. It's insane. It was rough. But, but we made it. We got it. It was into you. <laughs> the Popeye's chicken sandwich, which is literally just bread, mayonnaise, chicken, chicken, and a pickle. Pickles. Yeah. Oh, a pickle? A pickle? One I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's McRib rules or what. It co they come in their own packages. Similar to the Chick fil A packaging to keep it. There's no reason for this. Steamy. I don't know why they do this. Whenever they open these sandwiches now, you know, you always get the sort of like. Wet. Look how much packaging for one sandwich. Yeah, it's so much trash, but look at that sandwich. It is like a bag of chips. It's nice and good. Nice, good body. All right, let's see what we got here. The bread looks like it's going to be kind of good. This is what all the hype is about, people. You've got, yeah, the bread looks wonderful. And the pickle actually looks like a real, like it was cut from a real pickle. So the first of all, let's look at the bottom bread. There's some serious A pickle. tiny little bit of mayonnaise. I don't know, there's a lot of glare on that, but there's a couple pickles there. I don't know if you can see Yeah. That. Uh, but Bread there's, is shiny. There's virtually no mayonnaise on this sandwich. There, this is a very dry sandwich. It comes to it comes down to how moist this chicken is. Exactly, and I'm letting you know it looks pretty fucking moist. Yeah, and there is and there is mayonnaise on the top and bottom, which is important. Oh, okay. Yeah. This looks like a boneless chicken breast, is what it looks like. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. Can I say two things very quickly? Yeah. Number one. Delicious. So good. Number two. Absolutely not worth it. Not even No. Close. An hour for this? No way. Absolutely. <laughs> Wallace also agrees. <laughs> this costs $3.99. $2 cheaper than the Quarter Pounder Deluxe. Oh my God. So much better than that. But everybody out there who's trying to pretend like these are the best things I've ever had, stop it. This is not that great. It is delicious, but not nearly worth the trouble. Did you hear somebody got stabbed to death the other day over this? To death? Speaking of which... <coughs> no way. Just kidding. No, real talk. Somebody did get stabbed to death. Get out of here. <coughs> Come down, Walt. It's okay. They're, they're okay now. Yeah. You can't believe somebody would do that over a sandwich. Here's the thing. It's a good sandwich. But here's the thing. I fucking love Popeyes. I love Popeyes chicken. Mm -hmm. I love their like chicken tenders. I love even like their shrimp. I love all that shit. And this is just that again, I don't even usually get because they have two sandwiches, really. There's the classic, which we got just because for science's sake mm -hmm. and the spicy. I almost never get the classic chicken at Popeye's mm -hmm. ever in my life. And so tasting it, it just has that Popeye's flavor. There's really a lot of chicken. Like, I don't know if you can see there's like a lot of chicken in each bite. It's not just it like, is it? yeah, I don't know if you can see this. This is the chicken itself is very moist and very thick, which is nice. Yeah, it's not breading. It's not just like all breading. It, it, it really does taste good. Um, but I don't know what else to say about it. Like, honestly. I, oh, I have a lot to say. The bun is very sweet. And like the little, the, the, the layer of mayonnaise on the top bun is perfect because I didn't even know it was there. But when I taste it, I know it's there. Not because I'm like, oh, I taste mayonnaise. No, it just tastes moist, which is the way you want it. The way I want it. This bread is so much better than the bread at McDonald's. It has like <laughs> flavor. It has like body to it. Body? Yeah, like look, you can even see there's like you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see. It's like a line of butter like on the on the edge of the bread. I mean, it's yellow. Yeah, it looks like they it like it looks like they have buttered this bread or there's grease seeping in. The pickle it has like the right like it looks like it was sliced off a pickle. Let's talk about the pickle. It actually tastes like a pickle. It tastes like pickle. It tastes like a chicken sandwich, guys. It tastes like a pickle from like a jar of pickles, though, which I think is good. Yeah, I don't know. It tastes like the same old pickle to me. It's just like, how do you talk about the sandwich without just talking about Popeye's chicken in general? You don't. It's exactly the same thing. The crispiness of the chicken, that like sort of knobbly, like buttermilk vibe. That's the difference. The, the, the chicken is not crispy. And that's uh, like a good thing, because I don't want to be like, gosh. Like the breading is a little softer because it's been packed in. Yeah, and steamed, really. Right. But like it still has that's that. Okay. Yeah, but it still has that like signature Popeye ness to the outer edge of the chicken. Like it's I mean, still. It tastes like. Yeah, yeah. That's what like, I mean. It's still the they same. They have a recipe. It's Popeye's chicken. It's shape. the same product. I don't even know if this is one piece. I think it is one piece. But mm -hmm. they were literally saying, like, when they were out of the sandwich, like, just make the sandwich with bread and chicken strips because it's the same thing. And that's exactly what this review is. It's like. If you like Popeye's chicken, you're gonna like this sandwich. I think the only pe reason people are excited about it is just because it's like memeing on the internet. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for like a solid sort of like premium level, not dollar menu chicken sandwich, 
you know, from a fast food restaurant and you're like, somehow you're feeling guilty or whatever about and eating you have it. an hour and a half to kill. Well, if you're eating at Chick-fil-A and you don't want to like eat at Chick-fil-A because you're like worried about how they uh, treat gay people or something like that, like that's a fine reason to come to Popeye's and I think this is just as good as that sandwich. Well, really? Because I don't know Chick-fil-A, so. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is like the sort of like gold standard for like a for like a fast food chicken sandwich. It's really good. You think good. these are equal? It's really good. This one and that one are very different beasts. Are they equal? But they're equal, yeah. Okay. Equal, equal quality for value, I would say. It's just, uh... I almost, I, like this one. I almost like this one better just because of, like, my own preferences. Like, the yellowy bread is different. The bread is nice and sweet. I like it. It's like a more southern-style fried chicken sandwich. I just feel bad for all the people out there who got hurt because of the bullshit over this sandwich. And I feel bad for the people who convinced themselves that this shit is worth it. It is not. It is not. It's, it's not all that. It is not worth $4. I think it's worth $3. It's good. It's very tasty. Mm-hmm. Would I order again? Yup. Much more often than I would ever order the the quarter pounder deluxe. Yeah, I, there's no reason to even compare them anymore. Like, this is a good boy. Yeah, this is like a star menu item at Popeyes where all the food tastes the same and it's all good. So to give you guys like my final review on the quarter pounder deluxe. Quarter pounder deluxe, buy it if you're in dire fucking straits and you can only, and you and you need that and you can only go to McDonald's. If you, and for this sandwich, if you magically find yourself at a Popeye's that has no line, do that. Yeah, if you're looking for Popeye's chicken between bread, this is it. It's exactly that. But don't wait in the line. No, it's not don't. worth, it's not worth don't. like, it's not even that sexy of a sandwich. Like it's don't, that. don't take an Instagram of this. It's not worth it. Yeah, that's just people being like, look what I got. Like, yeah. And that makes you look like an asshole. Like, honestly, if you want a good chicken sandwich, make one. Like. Don't go to Popeye's for this. Don't go to Popeye's. And if you're one of those people like, yeah, but I really need to try to see for myself, by all means, I'm that guy too. A grown ass lady cut us for the sandwich. We were in line and the line is so bad at this Popeye's that they have two lines coming in to form one line at the actual drive-through. So we're coming from this line, we're coming from this line. If you use the logic and reason, you know the only way for that to resolve is a zipper fucking formation, right? So the car from her side of the line went and then we were about to go, and then she like mm -hmm. does this and goes, hey, hey, and she's like, no, and like we can't hear. Her. She's like, no, it's my turn, and we're like, anything that that quickly reveals the evils of humanity is not, not worth, worth it. it. Not no. worth it. Especially not for like a fast food quality chicken sandwich. Delicious, nonetheless. Yeah, even under even in the reality where there is food that it's worth waiting that long for, this was not one of those foods. But I would totally order this. Like, if things calm down, like in a fast food situation, general. Right. Oh my god. Like, yeah. if, if I if I go to a Popeyes and see there's no line, I'm like, you know what? I will take one of those. Yeah, I'll get that spicy. I definitely will go back and get the spicy now that I've had this one. Yes. I, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this uh, weird, weird day we've had. Just a little experiment for you guys. See what you guys think, and if you guys might be interested. So, if you're interested, you want to see us try some new fast foods. We will do it. You just gotta go to patreon.com slash superbeardbros and vote for us on Super Beard Bowl. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Wow. Not only that, if you really like this and you want to vote for <clears> us, <throat> you can also let us know in the comments of this one what other like items or sandwiches yeah. you wanted to see us try. Like weird, weird shit, you know? Yeah, even if you can't maybe afford to vote right now on your own, you know, it's always at least good to like share what you what you would vote for in the, in the comments. Or this can be a weird one time thing. You never yeah. know. We, we may never do this again. What do you think, Wallace? Speak! 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Here's All a right. treat. So, <laughs> that's a treat for him. All right. This has been a treat for us. And this is a treat for you. Right. Me, me, me. All right, and that's it for another week of Super Beard Bowl. Make sure you get your votes in by Tuesday, because if you don't, they won't count for this week. So please hurry to patreon.com slash superbeardbros to get yourself in the bowl. Fuck. Big million. Big million.